Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this Marc Jacobs Daisy inspired cell phone case. I'm going to be starting with this phone cases. It's silicone translucent. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is applying this to my cell phone. But I'm going to start with this sticky tags and I'm going to stick them together. And then I'm just going to add a piece of tape and I'm just going to tape it to my case. The reason why is because I'm going to be painting a daisy on top of the apple. I want to know exactly where my apple is. I'm going to be using this Color Club Art Battles for nail art thingies. I'm just going to be using my white paint and I'm just going to be painting the top and pretty much just going to kind of like stamp it on around the sticky tag that I added on the middle there. So these are going to be forming the petals, we could say. Once I have done that and I'm ready to remove the tape and my sticky tag, I'm just going to do it using some tweezers. And then I'm just going to go and finish with my paint and just kind of like make it better looking. You can go for any like shape you want, but I noticed that the daisies on the battle had this kind of like square shape so they are not rounded if that makes any sense some of them some of them are now as you can see my apple is not exactly in the middle it's because when you're adding your uh, sticky tag it's real hard to tell where exactly you know the, the apple is gonna be then i'm just going to go and add another daisy and for this one i'm going to just paint the entire daisy as it is pretty simple i'm just going to be adding a bunch of dots and i'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing as far as filling and just arranging how the daisy looks for the small ones i'm just going to be taking a dotting tool you can use the back of a brush as well it doesn't really have to be a dotting tool just something that is going to be giving you dots then i'm going to be painting a smaller daisy which has like the part on the inside empty for that, I'm going to be stacking my two sticky tags, but then I'm just going to grab a marker and I'm just going to, with a pencil or a pen, mark the circle. And then I'm just going to simply cut it with my scissors. I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the bigger daisy, but it's time I'm going to be working on the smaller daisy. Pretty much the same thing as far as, you know, painting the petals go. Now, I made a lot of mistakes and I learned that the easier way to remove my mistakes if I don't want my daisies or my design is just to wait for my paint to dry and then remove it with a toothpick. You're just going to kind of scratch it until your design is gone. It all depends on the material of your cell phone case, but if you're using this kind of like plasticky, uh, silicone-y, flexible um, ones, it's going to be really easy for you to remove your unwanted design. Then I'm going to add medium daisies. I'm going to go with my marker, like the one that I used before, and we are going to add a complete daisy this time on the right corner. And then I went ahead and added another daisy on the left bottom part, but it's not going to be like complete because I'm running out of space. At this point, I decided to remove my cell phone because one, I didn't realize I was still working with my cell phone and two, I needed it. Add as many coats as you need to in order to have your white acrylic paint as big as you want it to be. And then here comes the light. I was playing with the light settings on my camera and this is where I just discovered to add more lights on my videos. Then I'm going to be taking taking my sticky tags again and I'm just going to be painting two of them in gold. Then I'm just going to wait for that to dry and remove the sticky tags painted in gold now. Place them on top of my daisy. Just try to add it as on the middle as you can add it. And the other one is going to be half daisy we could say, but in this case I'm just going to cut the corners because, well, the daisy is not complete. For my small daisies I'm just going to pick my dotting tool and my gold I'm just going to add a dot in the middle. Then I'm just going to take my marker again and I'm just going to go with my gold and I'm just going to stamp the paint on the middle of my daisy. Once I have done that, I'm just going to go with my brush and with my acrylic paint and just fill the whole thing in. And finally, I added some random dots here and there just to complete the signs, just making them look like studs. The final step is just to go with your gloss because until this point your white paint is acrylic so it's going to dry matte so you need something to make it glossy and it's going to protect your design it's going to make the whole thing glossy but then i'm just going to paint on top of the whole daisy with my gloss so i'm just going to be doing that pretty much in every daisy every dot everything that i have in this design you need a somewhat good quality gloss because let's say if it's hot outside if it's really sunny and you are with your cell phone outside and you just have to grab it to just make a phone call or whatever if your gloss is like too sticky it's going to become tacky and it's going to be really awkward for you to hold your cell phone case 
just work with something that is going to be somewhat good quality and it's not going to be tacky to attach if it's too hot outside. Now that I have that, I'm just going to put my cell phone back in and you have yourself a new pretty cute cell phone case. I just wanted to give it a try because I love those bottles. I don't own that perfume, but I love the design and the bottle, I think it's super cute. Yeah, I just want to give it a try, but for my cell phone and share this idea. Hopefully you like this idea as well as I did. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to share it so more people can watch it. Thank you so much for your time watching. I hope you give it a try and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.